you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. So I wanted to get some a couple paintings in today and I wanna start the new year out with a ring pour. I'm working on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. I've got my hand off handles and I've painted the edges with one of my favorite colors, Amsterdam greenish blue, and we are doing leftovers. But I am thrilled with all the leftover paints. When you see the color palette that I have, I think I have enough to do a small um, round as well. And on this round, I'm gonna be using um, Tracy Reed's uh, cup, her um, five, I think it's five section cup, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Again, I'm not gonna be talking a lot. I don't even know if I'll be doing voiceover. I don't wanna annoy everyone, but I will do a lot of sign languages. Thumbs up, thank you, yay, and um, final product. And then um, I will be sure to um, put some words up. So there's, I'm not gonna go over paint colors because I am gonna show you all of the leftover paints that I'm gonna be using because I mixed them all together. They're typically leftovers. Like you see, believe it or not, Art, Art Mines Aquamarine. And here was Soho Thalo Blue. <clears throat> and then I've got another, here is um, Amsterdam Greenish Blue, my favorite. And you see an FP on there. That was for Flower Pop. All of my Flower Pop paints are mixed with Floetrol and water, either two and a half, or three ounces to one part paint, and then water to consistency. So when I'm gonna do a ring pour, I've gotta thicken them up. So I either use mix or I use gel gloss medium. So let's get down to the canvas to show you um, all of the colors we're gonna be using today. Thank you for being patient with me with my voice. I will be back chatting very soon. Hi everybody, okay, so I'm having a very hard time speaking and it gets worse so luckily these are leftovers there's no way for me to know the colors color art and this little piggy that i'm using today um i am using color art teal zircon color art aquarius and i've mixed them up with my little color art paddle beautiful and I've got Velvet by the TLP and Frost by this little piggy. Those two mixed. And I mixed them with GAC 100. Then I added my gel gloss medium. And this one I used Vallejo and a little bit of mix. It's gonna be beautiful. So I did mix up these pigments just for this, just a little bit. just to see what it'll do. I'm gonna get set up. We're gonna get our cup ready. Again, I'm not gonna talk a lot in this video. I'm gonna layer my cup. We're going to do a ring pour, and then we'll meet back at the end results. Let's get painting.
I am one not to not talk. <laughs> Can you see this? It's gorgeous. I still see some bubbles that just aren't popping. And you know, the thing, even though I've strained these paints, I always worry that there's gonna be something in them. So I'm just kind of doing a quick eye. Look at this. I don't know if I like that I did these curly cues, but we can fix that if we have to. Kind of just letting it set. Um, let some more bubbles get to the top. Um, definitely a lot of paint, which is fine. It's just a shame I'm gonna have to push some of this off. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use the rest of this here. This, um, this is just a flow extender. Um, I wanted to get rid of it. It was some drippings. My voice after I let it rest for a few minutes it's always a little bit better. So once it starts getting squeaky again, I can't, I won't talk. So I'm here, here, here. Don't want to drip any in. And a little more here. Come around. Wow, look at all these cells. Do you see them? Beautiful. This just helps the paints move. Um, hopefully this turns out great. I haven't done a ring pour in so long. This was a straight straight pour. Then I went into a ring pour. Um, I'm not gonna wreck it. I don't think. I don't think I wrecked Elsa's Galaxy when I did that one. Um, if I remember correctly. Okay. I think that's good. I think we've got enough paint. Oh my goodness, guys. Here we go. Let's get started. A lot of paint to move off this canvas. So I'm going to do a lot of tilting to see what areas I want to keep. Um, I know I don't like that center, so we'll probably work the center off some. I just keep looking. Beautiful through here. And that's the bad thing when you have a lot of leftovers. You um, go back to the center. Okay. I don't want to lose too much of that. I'm going to get rid of something over in this corner here, I think. Let's come back. This one. Let's move it back. Okay, let's let it rest a minute. It's turning out gorgeous. I can't believe I did that. I don't like it. We're going to get rid of it. No biggie. No biggie. We're going to get rid of it. Here. 
let her rip. <laughs> focus here trying to find okay, I love that let's do something with that side over there Oop. let's move bring this down don't like it A look let it set a minute beautiful oh my goodness I'm in love with it look at these huge cells coming up let's give it a good torch This way a little bit, not much. There we go. Okay, let's wait. Okay, let's go down for a close up. I ended up not putting this video out as planned at the beginning of the year, so my voice is a little bit better. I just have a cough left, so. I love this. Oh my goodness. Look at the cells in the corner. There's some pearls going on. There's a lot of color in this. And I love the gray tone there on the edge. That's why we named it Cold Snap. I couldn't think of a better name. It just looks so frosty down in each of the corners. Up here, you'll see right there all that frosty looking snow and then these cells and lines oh my gosh it's a stunner in real life I think that um, leftover paints are so much fun um, I have to be honest with you I bet there was 10 different pouring mediums um, in some of these paints um, there's Floetrol and Atelier pouring medium and gel gloss medium and Liquitex pouring medium um, I had, uh, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think. There were so many pouring mediums in these paints. Um, probably a little bit of bloom paint even. You can see how crispy that looks right there. I'm just in love with um, the end result on this. And I did not like that until I made it look like a, a tunnel kind of. It's just so beautiful. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to show you the dried results next. See you there.